Oh my god, it's been a minute. I'm so sorry that I have not been making any videos at all. Sorry, life has just has life has just been a roller coaster in the worst way possible that prevented me from doing the one thing that actually distracted me from it. Anyways, I just had to make a video of this because at this point I'm just filming stuff that I want to like, you know, when I grow up, look back to and be like, oh my god, yes, I remember that. That being said, Stone Ocean has been confirmed. Oh my god. I'm so incredibly happy. I am so incredibly happy that Stone Ocean has been confirmed. Oh my god, now uh, this entire video is just gonna be about Stone Ocean. Let me show you something though. So, my birthday was uh, last month, and my best friend, she's an artist, drew me this. Like, look at this beautiful, th like, look at this. These are my favorite characters from JoJo. Well, not all of them, but like my top. You know, of course, Joseph, Jolene, and Polo Nadev. I'm so sorry that my hair is just like, I basically just woke up. Look at the fucking detail of this. Oh my God. I have to, I have to start with Jojo, like of course. Stone Ocean has been confirmed. Oh my God. That literally brings a, a smile to my face. It's been a couple days since it happened. I wanted to get tickets to see the live stream, but I completely forgot about it. Well, okay, let me be honest. I didn't forget about it, of course. I knew that there was going to be an announcement of something of JoJo. They didn't say that it was going to be Stone Ocean, obviously. My fear was that they would make a live stream and announcement and not be Stone Ocean. So I was kind of hesitant on getting the tickets because I've heard a couple rumors of it being like, oh shigichi ova or something and i was like oh my god that would be so like oh my god not bad but realistically stone ocean is a lot more impactful and much more important than shigichi i just want to share my thoughts of the, about this because stone ocean i've read the manga I, I read the manga and it's fantastic it's the most interesting manga i've ever read so far i mean i'm not really a manga reader i don't read a lot of manga or a yaoi manga you know you know what i mean catch my drift i read the manga it's really good it's amazing like i really 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 like it the ending is like the most i've never read any i never i've never read anything like that of course a lot of people have mixed reviews my sister said that she didn't like the ending i would say it's bittersweet i wouldn't say uh that it's like the most amazing ending ever because it's kind of sad that's why i'm saying it's like bittersweet it makes you feel happy but at the same time it's kind of like whatever i'm not gonna spoil shit anyways i love the manga point being so yeah i'm just gonna talk about it for like a few minutes and yeah i'm just gonna share my thoughts on stone ocean again super excited that day literally i woke up the first video on my tiktok my for you page is stone ocean has been confirmed and I was so happy. I, I was kind of sad because I followed a TikToker that actually live streamed the live stream or something uh, uh, on their Discord or something. And I really wanted to, but the time zones are different. It was like at 3 a.m. and I'm not, I'm I'm not someone that can stay up super long. I'm a go to bed early type of girl, <laughs> so I totally missed it. But I've seen a couple of videos uh, surfing around TikTok, which is kind of risky because I heard that if people shared anything from the live stream, they were gonna be taken care of, and. You know, again, that sounds scary. I saw a couple videos of the live stream. I saw the actress that, you know, is going to be voiced by Jolene. Yare, yare da wa. Last part that her, she, uh, was amazing. Like, honestly, that yare yare da wa sounded perfect. Yare, yare da wa. I have the JoJo, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game, the all-star battle one and the Eyes of Heaven one. Of course, it's a different voice actress, but they sound similar. Like they sound almost exactly the same. Here is where my thoughts open. This is my like opinion of this. I'm a little scared because of course I've, I saw her 
and not in person video and her voice sounds very high pitched now that has nothing to do with it my fear is that that will incorporate the acting of you know for jolene because if you read the manga jolene doesn't it's not like a high pitched type of girl she's more of a badass girl but that that yada yada the wa was like perfect it matched her perfectly it sounds like the voice actress from the game but we don't know we've only heard that one line we don't know anything and that's that's what okay of course yes the announcement of stone ocean is like the most exciting thing ever like literally when i woke up i woke up with a smile on my face i was like i need to celebrate today now i'm not a huge drinker not huge i'm not a drinker at all i've never drank before not even in high school and i was never really interested but for some reason that day i was like i need to celebrate so i went to chili's i had a drink only one i didn't get i didn't black out i didn't get drunk because that's no no honey that's that's not me i was tipsy i was eating i ate some food and i was feeling amazing i'm super excited about it but at the same time i'm kind of nervous and kind of scared for it let me tell you why they did not say anything else like the entire live stream from what i've seen was you know the voice actors recreating some scenes and then the announcement of stone ocean i don't know for how long that was i don't know sorry the sun is like really on my face golden hour they did not say anything about stone ocean they didn't give us a trailer they didn't give us any information other than who is going to voice her like jolene and the the announcement the convert there's no release date there's no we don't even know if it's going to be animated by david productions like that's why i'm kind of like iffy about not iffy but like kind of nervous because david productions has a good record in you know animated animating uh jojo's bizarre adventure so obviously there's that maybe just me maybe there's a little bit of like risks there or like fear that like it's gonna be completely different because we don't know who's gonna be like you know we don't know if it's gonna be david productions or another company we don't know when the release date is going to happen we don't know when this is going to be like aired we don't know anything it's good i mean i searched for the other parts of jojo's bizarre adventure like how long it took them to confirm and to air and it's i would say around three to four or five months three to five months so we still have to wait a little while but honestly i guess like that confirmation set everyone so like sky high i mean honestly i've seen a lot of people starting jojo's bizarre adventure because of the jolene like confirmed and also we only saw how she's gonna look we don't like only an image of her we don't really know anything there's no trailer to the anime we don't know any of the other voice actors either we don't know anything other than it's been confirmed and the voice actress which she looks so beautiful oh my god the voice actress i don't know i'm kind of scared to put her like in the video because i don't want to be like taken care of but I'm just going to put a picture of her when she first walked in. Um, she looks so excited. Everyone knows now that she has been a JoJo fan for so long. I th I've heard that her inspiration to becoming a voice actress was, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You know, she always wanted to voice Jolene. And I'm so excited for her. She looks so cute. She's she looks so excited. I think she was even in tears. She was so honored. Oh my God. Everyone welcomed her so beautifully. And I'm just so happy for her. I hope everything goes well. And I hope she does a great job. But so far, I feel like, I mean, they picked her, of course, you know. But, oh my God, Stone Ocean. Dude, when the release date happens, bitch, I'm going all I'm not going to have one drink. I'm going to have two drinks. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to be celebrating again when, so I, honestly, I'm so proud of myself for that being the, the reason for first drink. Like, when I was in high school, I never drank. I never drank alcohol in my entire life. Everyone around me is going to be like, oh yeah, my first drink was like in high school or like, oh, uh, it was like at a party or like, what's, what was your time of drinking? Oh yeah, my first time ever drinking was a celebration of stone oh shit they're gonna be like what <laughs> but honestly i'm proud like who cares you know for me i've never truly saw the reason to drink but with this in particular is so important to me that i needed to celebrate honestly i don't regret it because i felt really good i was a little tipsy like the alcohol 
I, it gave me a, actually a headache. Again, I've never drank before. That was the first time I ever drank. Like feeling like I was with my father and everything. And my father would be talking to me and I would be like, I don't know, I would say tipsy because I was still very conscious of myself, but I don't know. Point is that when the release date happens, I'm just so excited for stoner shit. Jolene's part is my favorite so far. I'm reading part seven right now. Honestly, Jolene's part is by far my favorite so far because part seven is kind of weird. <laughs> like part seven is like, I would say the most bizarre out of all of them. I would say from order, Jolene, Joseph, of course, Jogaro, Josuke, Jonathan, and Jorno. I'm not gonna put part seven just yet because I haven't finished it. But even if you're gonna say, Jorno, why is Jorno your last part? I'm gonna be honest, Jorno didn't really like, you know, didn't really excite me to be honest. Cause like realistically it's called part five is Giorno's part, Giorno Giovanna's. You see his part, he's like, I didn't like the main character. Like he starts off as the main character, like the first five or four episodes. And then he's like a complete outcast. And then at the end, he's all of a sudden like the big deal. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know. It wasn't super that exciting. Of course, the there's some iconic scenes like the seven page Muda thing. I thought that was pretty cool. I really like the sound effects. That's one thing that David Productions has been really, really like amazing of is the sound effects. Yeah, journal's part is for me, in my opinion, it wasn't like super, it was still good. Like, I'm not saying that it wasn't bad. It's just like, for me, out of all the parts, that didn't like get me excited. <laughs> I'm super, super excited. I'm also very, like I said, I'm very excited, but also very nervous. Cause like, since they did in Stone Ocean, they haven't said a lot. My expectations are very, very high. Cause come on, when you read the manga, the manga is like spectacular. I hope that it has a fair amount of episodes. I hope they don't skip anything, but I mean, realistically, I really doubt that they're gonna skip anything. I haven't read the other parts. I've only just read Jolene's part. Um, and of course, uh, reading part seven. I do want to read the other parts though. I mean, my friend got me, oh, you can actually see it right there. He got me JoJo's Bizarre Adventure mangas, but that's only part two because that's my favorite part. Well, Jolene's my favorite part, but I mean, before I read Jolene, it was part two because I love Joseph. Like, he's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Yeah, I hope everything turns out well. I just, you know, I don't mind waiting for a release date, but I just pray that everything turns out amazing, you know? Also, one thing that I didn't really understand is that in the picture that they showed of Jolene, um, she looks fantastic. The only thing is that her hair is entirely green. I don't know if you read the manga, but in the manga, her hair is like a navy blue and then has the green highlight highlights. Because this version, I don't know if you played the game, it kind of looks like this version. But this version mixed and it looks like this you know again she looks fucking fantastic of course it's jolene but then i was zooming in, i was like looking at her admiring her and then i noticed that her hair like is entirely like green and then the neon highlights kind of kind of like yellow ish a bit i don't know it's just that i'm used to seeing jolene like this with like the navy blue and that neon hi highlight thing. I mean, I don't know. I hope that it, they don't really change the coloring of stuff. I know that in the game, they do change the colors and stuff. Anasui in the manga is like total pink and there's a version of him where he's like completely blue. There are like color tints and stuff. I don't mind that, but I don't know if they're gonna like do that to the anime. I don't know, I mean, we'll see. Again, she looks fucking phenomenal. I literally just woke up. I haven't even had breakfast because that's how much I wanted to talk about this. I mean, it's been a couple days, but um, I still have that excitement in me. I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share.
there's anything else for me to say because you know i already said everything jolene amazing i love her can't no, wait <laughs> cannot wait for her part see you later bye yare yare da wa